what's good guys back at it again with another video as y'all can see but what's good my royalty family salute to y'all for supporting the channel uh appreciate it um like i say supporting is free 99 don't cost you a dime so guys 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 uh we've come a long way and i can't thank y'all for enough enough for supporting um, as you can hear, fireworks are going off, and it's, well, we have a week before, week till July 4th, but there we go. Um, but guys, thank y'all again. This is going to be a, uh, um, an informational vi video today, a little bit away from the cars, um, because I've seen a lot of videos around this, so I wanted to chime in and add my two cents. So guys, y'all see the title and thumbnail, let's talk about it. Um, so, Aris, Aris, if you into, sorry, if you're new to this channel, this channel is about cars, lifestyle behind cars, credit to get cars, car entertainment, car knowledge, how to's, um, lifestyle vlogging, work, vlogging, stuff like that. So if you're into stuff like that, feel free to check out my other content. Browse it, browse it. But guys, let's go. So, um, a few months ago, I moved to Los Angeles, California from North Carolina, California. Um, I actually have a vlog where we actually drove here. We drove from North Carolina to California. So, there you go again with the fireworks. So, um, you see the title and thumbnail. I'm going to help the people who are in my situation financially when it comes to the affordability, affordability, afford, the affordability, affordability to here, to live in Los Angeles, California. Um, I know there's a lot of stereotypes and everything around Los, Los Angeles, California being expensive. Everything is high, food is high, gas is high, rent is high, we know. So imagine what you can do if you budget your money. So here's how I afford Los Angeles, California off a 50K base. Uh, it's not a lot of money. Um, but it's also a decent amount of money where you can afford to live off of. So, let's dive in. Here is number one. We're going to go with, you have to, first, you have to budget your money. You have to budget. You have to budget. I know you probably live a different lifestyle in the past, but now you're in Los Angeles, California, and you find yourself not budgeting the best to make sure you have money left over after you getting paid. So, first thing first is budgeting your money. That's what I do. Um, and that's going out, like putting yourself on a strict budget every day. Um, saying like, I'm gonna spend this amount of money for this day and then this amount of money for the, that day. Uh, budgeting your money is the biggest thing. Um, number two is when it come to rent, um, a lot of people, so don't feel bad about this. Do not feel bad about this, but if you are in the situation to have to get a roommate, I would say go for it. But if you make 50K and above, you can go live on your own, get your own one bedroom apartment, or a studio apartment. Um, you can do that. Um, luckily with me and my situation, um, me and my girlfriend does live in our one bedroom apartment here in San Pedro, California, which is a city, small subdivision, small sub city in Los Angeles, California. Um, and we afford it. We, we can afford it because we're both going at it 50, 50. So, uh, that makes it a lot easier for us so we can budget this and budget that um, Making our rent a lot affordable For the sake of going half so I know a lot of people who 
go 50 50 on that rent so do not feel bad if you have to um get a roommate if you went from not having a roommate to you want to come here and you want to live a life that you you are trying to chase your dream then stay humble and understand the sacrifices that you have to make um so like i said number one and number two budget and now if you are looking to rent um i would say um try to look at a roommate but if you can't afford to live on your own go ahead um i don't think everything that bad when it comes to rent utilities um it'll be affordable if you go at it 50 50 with a roommate with a friend or anything so that's the two i have then um the question is are you one of them people that goes out Nah, that's uh but um number three number three number three if you number three if you do have a car try to limit yourself as of right now try to limit yourself on traveling so with us having one car now um, we try to limit ourselves on going places uh, to avoid the high gas prices so if you live in California now or you're looking to move to California right now gas prices are six maybe six dollars and seventy and it goes up to about eight dollars so we spend less time going places in the car so during the week we are most likely stay within the vicinity of our apartment so a lot of it is walking distance but when we do as far as like friday saturday sunday that's when we go and explore la and go do stuff uh maybe we want to drive to malibu malibu's an hour and 30 minutes from here uh that's probably with traffic or maybe without traffic or we may just go downtown or we may just go to Hollywood or we may just go to North Hollywood or stuff like that so um, number three is limit yourself far as like driving now if you have to drive do it if you don't have no choice but to drive you do it um, but understanding the you will be spending a lot of money on gas um, because how gas prices are so high right now. So, guys, like I said, we we tend to Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday, we are staying near our uh, apartment. We stay in San Pedro, so the water is not that far. Um, so we can walk to the water um, and enjoy the little beach that's here. Uh, enjoy the water scenery as well um, If you don't have a car you're saving a good amount of money without having to uber everywhere so That's another thing Like uh, you can always uber lift to help you save money on gas So if you do have a car, it is nothing wrong with Using an uber using a lift or using any type of public transportation because people do it uh, there is uh, quite a few people that I know who actually have vehicles, but you'll still th see them catching public transportation because they're trying to save money on gas. Me personally, um, it's nothing wrong with me. It humbles me to know that like I don't let what I had or what I have in the past, had in the past or have right now, take that away from my humbleness. So I will hop on a bus quick. I will get in the lift quick. I will hop on a train quick. So it can help me save money. And that's how my boss put it to me. Like one of the most humbling experiences and you're trying to save money, catch the bus. Luckily, there's a bus that literally goes from 
the front, maybe the front of the our our apartment um, is probably at the corner, and it goes straight to the, my job. So I was like, hey, I can get in my car and go sit in traffic, or I'm gonna catch the bus. I'm gonna catch the bus to help me save money. Yeah, how you doing? Sit down. Let's see what else, guys. The, um, if you are a foodie, if you are a foodie, um, another thing, limit, you have to limit your, what you going out to eat. Um, understanding that that can, that can take a lot of your money as well. Cause food is a essential need. You need food, you need this, you need that to survive. So I understand that. Um, if you are a person that love going out to the top end restaurants, uh, or just restaurants in general, spending $40 here, $40 here, $40 there, um, you might have to limit that as well. So that's one of the things you have to worry about. Um, I would say, like me personally, my recommendation, um, I don't eat out much, but like I said, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, those days where we actually go out to eat. Um, so we go spend $40 here, $40 there, um, and just spend money during the week. And so Monday through Thursday, we make it sure there's food in our house for us to make dinner or breakfast or lunch. But Friday, Saturday, and Sunday come, and that's when like, hey, let's go here, let's go here. So um, it makes it a lot easier on our budget. So we're not spending three to four. 200 three to two hundred dollars on food so that helps my budget as well uh let's see there's a lot of things out there uh, then a lot of people around my age group millennials <laughs> live here so if you are one of the millennials that find this video and you looking to move here Lastly, I would say is limit yourself going out to have fun. So, um, if you one of them people that go out every day, you can imagine how much money that can be. Like, for example, one of my friends came here and we went out from Monday to Saturday. Sunday was the day of rest, I guess, for us. Um, and just from me being out, from Monday through Saturday, could y'all imagine how much money I spent? Um, that's going out to clubs, that's going out to eat and stuff like that. Uh, and I pretty sure I spent close to about $400, $500 from Monday to Saturday, just going out. So try to, like again, I say, um, you're not required to do this, but if you make the money to go do it, do it. Um, do it so um, try to limit yourself going out um, now if you want to people that enjoy the fruit to your labor of being here in Los Angeles California where there's something going on every day do it but if you one of the people like me where it's like I like to save money and I like to budget my money I would limit myself like just going out to have fun so going out to clubs um, going out to bars um, shit, going to movies, going to any type of event where it's going to require you to spend more money than you budgeted for that day. So, um, take it, take it slow. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't go out Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's when they go out. They go out and have fun, enjoy the time out. Um, that's another one of them things where, um, it can be. Uh, I'm gonna stay home, chill, rest my body up. Monday through Thursday, then Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is when I'm gonna go turn up. So, those are the five things that I think would help me manage my money, budget my money, and also let Los Angeles be affordable knowing the, the price 
of everything here with the cost of living, the cost of gas, the cost of food. And then we're, we're in, in, we're in almost, they would say we're in a recession due to the fact of all the stuff that's going on right now. So the best way to get through this inflation to everything starts to settle is budgeting your money, guys. So if you find this video, let me know if you live in Los Angeles, California, and how you afford it. Um, if you make less money than me and you have advice to how I afford this and how I afford that, um, shoot, let me know. If you make more money, what is the lifestyle with making more money? Um, but I also wanna let you know, Los Angeles, California can be affordable. It all depends on what you make out of it. Um, if you are a budgeter like me, this is a cakewalk because my girlfriend tell me I'm very frugal with money. I am very frugal with money. Um, I'm one of the people that check my bank account a lot just to make sure if I say I'm going to put $100, I'm going to spend $100 for this day, I'm making sure to the T that it's $100 that I'm spending. If I say 40, 30, I'm making sure it's 30 to $40 that I'm spending for that day. So I'm very frugal. Like I said, Los Angeles is all about budgeting your money. Don't go broke out here trying to live the dream. Do not go broke out here trying to live the dream. Do not. So hopefully this help, just to recap. Number one, budget, big, real big, budget, budget, budget. Number two, if you do have a vehicle, if you have a vehicle, you don't have a vehicle, public transportation is out there for you so you can so it can be more affordable for you to get around. But if it's not available for you, oh, public transportation is everywhere. So guys, transportation uh, to help you save on the high gas prices so you don't have to pay for gas. Um, number three, uh, limit yourself on going out to eat. I know we love eating, limit yourself Monday through Thursday, I'm going to chill. Then Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm going to go out and surprise myself. Um, take myself out on the day. Um, number three. Um, number four. Do not. Well, I'm going I'm to go with number four with saving money budgeting if you are one of the people that like to go out and enjoy the events that happens every day here chill during the weekend in the weekend go go have fun then number five do not go broke trying to live the dream do not go broke trying to live the dream because you understand the stereotype and what's going on here in los angeles with the homeless population do not go broke trying to live the dream. Do not. But that's all I have for y'all. Um, if there's an, uh, a lot of comments saying, hey, what do you feel about this? I will do another video on this. But hopefully this helped the people that's looking to move to Los Angeles, California. And mind you, I also have to put in my budget, my little buddy here. So he's a part of the budget as well. So, if you are looking to move here, um, you can, you can. So don't let people tell you like it's expensive, it's this and this and that. It's all about how you budget your money and stuff like that. So guys, if you like, if you like this video, like what I said, go ahead and hit that like button, comment. Also, if you're interested in my channel, Subscribe to the town, turn your post notification bells on, and stay up to date on what I got going on. So, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching this video. Hopefully, this helps. But, like I end the video, supporting is free 99 It don't cost you a dime. But, supporting is also cheaper than a cup of coffee from Starbucks. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.